Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the dramatic lighting though. Um, so in this video, I wanted to check out the difference between when the microphone is directly going into the camera versus when it is connected or when we are recording the audio into the Zoom Head 6. Let's get into it. The sound that you are listening to right now is coming from the Rode VideoMic NTG directly hooked up to my Sony A6600. The gain dial on the mic is set to 8 and the audio levels on the camera is set to 4. I'm not doing any audio processing or I will not be doing any audio processing when I'll get to the editing phase. I may adjust the audio levels but if I do I'll put up in the screen somewhere. This video is not sponsored. I've purchased all these things myself. I have a hobby and let's leave it at that. My room is not acoustically treated. So I have carpeted floor and I do have some acoustic panels only on the floor because I haven't gotten the time and energy yet to actually install them on the walls. Because to be frank, I don't know how I want this room to look like. So this is the audio that you can expect from this microphone. I usually you would have it out of the frame somewhere like here or in the bottom somewhere. But I just wanted to showcase how the mic sounds when it's up close and I can switch back and forth between the sound recorder and the camera. And the sound that you are listening to right now is coming from the same microphone. All of the settings are the same. The gain is still set to 8, but this time I'm actually recording it on my recorder. This is the kind of audio that you can expect if you use a dedicated sound recorder. But I kind of feel like the quality of a dedicated recorder will be much better than a camera. This particular camera, I don't think it has as good of an audio preamps. It has some audio hiss problems and I've noticed other issues as well. I expect the audio quality on the sound recorder to be much better. There is a difference between the microphone directly connected to the recorder versus the camera. But the difference to at least my ears was too subtle. Maybe the environment that I'm in is a little more noisy. So far, I couldn't hear huge amount of difference between the Sony A6600 preamps versus the preamps on the Zoom Head 6. The biggest difference is the noise floor. For example, this is the noise floor for the Zoom Head 6. And now I've connected the microphone directly to the camera to test the noise floor. So you could hear there is a tiny bit of difference. I'm not even sure if YouTube will be able to capture it with all the compression. A little bit of a disclaimer that if you do record the audio separate to the camera, like in this case, you would have to then sync the audio and video in post. Because if I don't use this microphone, then the actual camera's microphones is sounding like this, which I mean, you can agree that it doesn't sound as good. So you would have to sync the audio and video in post, which shouldn't be a big problem because the video editor should be able to do this for you. Like I use Final Cut Pro and it's just two clicks for me to do that. I'll probably make a tutorial how to do that eventually. I think if I'm recording in my studio and I have the opportunity to record in a recorder, I will continue to do that. However, if I take the camera out, if I go for traveling or if I ever do vlogs, which I don't see myself doing, then I would definitely not use an external recorder, but directly connect it with the camera. And that is going to save a lot of space and I don't have to lug around the recorder myself. And the only thing I need is the microphone hooked up to the camera directly. I want to take as fewer things outside as possible to Otherwise, it's just going to be too inconvenient. Let me know in the comments below if you can hear the difference and which one do you prefer. And see you in the next video. Cheers. Woo.